Hello my YouTube friends, Streamlabs OBS is the standard for a lot of live streamers. Its easy layout and widget integration simplify a lot of the complexities of live streaming. Today I want to show you how to add multiple cameras to your live stream using Streamlabs OBS. This is an easy way to make your broadcast more dynamic by showing another angle or maybe demoing a task by showing your hands on a keyboard or maybe your feet. Who knows? Whatever you want to show. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Probably the most used application for multiple cameras is to show a process while you're talking to your audience, like the keys on a piano or a desk where you're showing how to draw something. Statistics show that being able to have you on camera is a more engaging experience for your audience. This process is going to allow you to do just that and still demo your task. So let's jump in and see how to set this up. So here we are in Streamlabs. And the first thing I'm going to do is we already have a scene created. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the plus next to sources. And I'm going to select a video capture device. And this is going to be my main camera. So I'm going to name it appropriately so I know what it is. And then I'm going to click add source. Now I just need to select my device properly. And if this ever happens to you where your camera's not coming up, you can drop it down, try to select a different camera or something like that. And that usually works, that does the trick. There we go, now my camera's in there properly. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to select use custom audio device so I can select my actual audio interface and click done. And now I'm just gonna test it out and make sure it works properly. And it looks like it is. The next thing I'm gonna do is click the plus next to sources and we're gonna add our second camera. So I'm gonna go into video capture device and I'm gonna go down here and slide this over to add a new source. And I'm gonna name this one. And this is gonna be the second camera. So it's gonna be where I'm showing my demos on. I'm gonna call it demo cam and add that as a source. I'm gonna drop down devices and select that camera that I'm gonna be using. And when we click done, there we go, we see the cameras in here. You see it also creates an audio device. You're probably gonna wanna turn that off. You don't wanna accidentally have more than one audio device for your main audio. And that's what I did. Now I'm gonna select that camera. I'm gonna right click on it in the main window, then go to properties. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this resolution to custom and select 1080. So we get a full screen here. Now you can see one of the problems is that this camera is automatically trying to adjust the focus. So I'm gonna go into properties again, and then I'm gonna select configure video. And that brings up this little screen here with a bunch of different camera settings. And I just wanna make sure that autofocus is unchecked. We don't want that. And then I can adjust the focus so that it's gonna stay in focus the whole time. And that's the way it's gonna stay. I don't have to worry about it playing around or changing the focus. Then I wanna adjust the exposure. And this is gonna be dependent upon your lighting sources. So you wanna test out the different things that you're going to do on your live stream when you're setting this up. In my case, I'm going to be writing on a piece of paper maybe, and I just wanna be sure that the exposure is set up so that you can actually read what's on the paper and it's not all washed out. And we can definitely read it, but I'm guessing you probably already noticed one problem here. The first thing I'm gonna do is go back into configure video and we're gonna adjust this video a little bit more so that we're sure to be able to see everything properly. So I'm gonna adjust my focus a little bit and make sure that my exposure is right in the sweet spot. And that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go over into this other tab and adjust the brightness and the contrast a little bit just to make sure that everything looks exactly how I want it to look for my live stream. So my audience is gonna get the best possible experience. Then you can apply that and click OK. Now we're pretty good. Now we're set up. The biggest problem is everything is backwards and upside down. So we're gonna go and right click on the screen and I'm gonna go to transform and then I'm gonna flip it horizontally. And then back to transform and we're gonna flip it vertically as well. And now everything is set up, all is right with the world. And of course you may or may not have to flip it. It depends on how you have your camera set up. But I had to flip it. And now we are looking absolutely fantastic. We've got two cameras set up. All we have to do is configure them exactly how we want. So I'm gonna drag my main camera up above my demo camera 
And then I'm just gonna resize this down into one of the corners. And this way I'm still on the screen while I'm doing the demo so people can still see me. I'm not a disembodied arms or disembodied hands or anything like that. So that's great. But what if we wanted to set this up so we could use a scene with us just in there and maybe another scene with just the second camera. Well, all we have to do is go over to scenes and click this plus and I'm gonna add a scene. We're gonna call it main camera. Now I'm gonna go to video capture device under sources. I'm gonna select that main camera and add it as a source. So now this scene has our camera, it's perfect. Then I'm gonna create another scene and we're gonna call this one demo cam. And I'm gonna click done. And then I'm gonna go over to sources and we're gonna go to video capture device once again. And we're gonna add our demo cam that we already created. And you're gonna notice we have to flip it again. It doesn't stay flipped, it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna right click on it and go to transform and we're gonna flip it vertically and then right click again, go to transform and I'll flip it horizontally and there we go. Now it's all set up and ready to go. I can flip back between main camera and demo cam and get individual cameras and then I can go into the main scene with both of our cameras in there as well. And that is pretty much how you set up a multi-camera setup. How do you plan to use two camera setups for your live stream? Let me know in the comments. And to make your live streams even more fun and dynamic, check out this video right here to see how you can add all sorts of face masks to your live stream. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.